Tonight, new jaw-dropping details about that deadly mass shooting in Dadeville. Court testimony revealing 89 shots were fired, more than half a dozen guns were used. Fox News Shelby Myers now joining us from the breaking news desk with the very latest tonight. Shelby, we're also finding out what might have been the trigger to that violence. Yeah, we are, Byron. An investigator testified that a DJ speaker fell over at the Sweet 16 birthday party, making a sound similar to a gunshot, causing some to pull up their shirts to show their guns. Not long after, real gunfire came from all directions. For the first time tonight, we're learning what turned a Sweet 16 birthday party in Dadeville deadly. Four people killed, 32 others injured. During an Anaya's Law hearing to see if the six suspects charged will be held without bail until trial, an Alabama law enforcement agent testified what he says went down inside that dance studio Easter weekend. The agent said 50 to 60 people were inside the hall. 89 shots were fired and seven different guns were likely used. The agent went on to say it seemed to have been sparked by a DJ speaker that fell over, making a sound similar to gunfire. When that happened, the agent testified that several young people lifted their shirts to show they had guns. The birthday girl's mother told anyone over 18 or carrots rang out, leaving multiple shell casings and blood everywhere, the agent said. One of the guns was found on Corbin Holston's chest, the agent testified, adding Holston wore a ski mask at one point and most of the suspects said he fired first. Holston was among the four killed. Marcia Collins was also shot and killed. The agent said he had a gun on him, but it had not been fired. Those two guns, the only ones recovered from the scene. The agent says suspects Johnny Brown, Willie Brown Jr., Wilson Hill Jr., and brothers Tyreek and Travis McCullough and a 15-year-old are all related or knew each other and they weren't even invited to the party. Willie Brown, who denies he was even there, is a suspect in another shooting in Auburn. And a juvenile suspect was wearing an ankle monitor from a shooting in Tuskegee, investigators say. Now the judge said he will decide within 24 to 48 hours if the suspects will in fact be held without bail until trial. Byron.